everyone. I am Matthew Osborne and I have autism. So I want to talk to you about my accomplishment I have done from the past few months now. From January to to April and I'm starting number. No. Not going to give that away. Tell you about my biggest achievement, accomplishment. He, I have published six books on Amazon. All six. And you can find those on Amazon, and I'll leave the, the link in the description down below. So the first book I published in January is called Christmas Night of the Krampus. This is the book. It was published by it was published by Amazon. And here's the back of the book that has my auto about the author biography and the, what the book is about. But I'll read it to you. Not a creature was stirring, not even a monster. Sarah loves Christmas time. It's the best time of the year. But her brother Rico is always getting into trouble. And the Bolton brothers are always picking on her. Sarah is in school, but picking on Sarah in school. But things are about to change as Sarah and Rico head home from school during the holidays. Sarah discovers a mythical creature who hunts and preys on the naughty children around the holiday seasons. But Rico does not believe in her, and neither does mom or dad. Rico got himself on the naughty list by destroying Mr. Pendergast's mailbox until the night before their Cranmore Christmas party. Sarah and Rico hear a loud thud above the rooftop of their house. Suddenly, Rico gets kidnapped by a mythical creature called Krampus who hunts and preys on the naughty people around the holidays. When Sarah, Rico, when Sarah's mom found out that Rico went mysteriously missing, so mom and dad, Sarah, went to the police. Detectives Gloria and Dalton started to investigate the situation. Grandma Verona came to the house to tell mom, dad, Sarah, and the two detectives of her story about when she first discovered Krampus. And the mythical toy creatures and Krampus began kidnapping mom and dad and the detectives and Grandma Verona for being naughty and Sarah was the only person left to save them. Rico, Rico and her, her family and they and the detectives. Can she save them all in time before they become their main course? And then the next book in number two called Stay Out of the Garage. And, and you can also find it, it inside the book and the pay book in this and then in this book it has like a total of 70 something pages and it was published on December 29th of 2021 next book stay out of the garage and I'm not gonna give all books away. I just wanted to show you what I have accomplished so that all you viewers can go purchase them on Amazon. And in this book, Live Plants, Dead People. Sophia and Tyler Bronsworth's mother was fired from Michigan State University Science Lab. Their mom begins to move all of her stuff from, the old, from her old office to the garage that she doesn't want anyone going in to while she's working, suddenly after she's done working or organizing where she wants all her stuff at. She cuts her hand on the garage railing and some of her blood molecules got mixed with some plant molecules, creating a plant copy that kidnaps, kidnapped the real mom and stuffed her in the, one of the closets, making Sophia and Tyler and Dad to believe it's their real mom. Sophia discovers about why mom is acting strange and what secrets is mom hiding? Can Sophia and Tyler discover the truth in the 
in time before things starts getting plant-like, weird, and crazy. And then after this book, it has What's Up Next, which is number three. Which I'm not going to give much detail away for book number two. So this is the book. It was published by Amazon. And it has almost the same pages as... It was published after... Since I'd had a lot of story ideas in the past. And here is book number three. So this is the book. This is called Monster Ooze. And in this story... Ooze ooze everywhere while staying with his weird, creepy Aunt Corinne. Kyle and his new friend Sarah visits an old antique, visits an antique store and buy it. it's a jar of monster ooze. It's fun to play with at first, and Kyle's dog Tucker likes it so much he eats some. But then Sarah, Kyle and Sarah notice something weird about the teal green slimy stuff. It seems to be growing and growing and growing. And all that growing has given it a monster appetite. And, after, and it says up next, the haunted cell phone. And, it, and again, it has the about me on it. And it has like 50 some pages on it. And this was published in January after when I got all the editing done on it. That my grandma Jean had me do. And here is book number four, the haunted cell phone. In this story, every selfie tells selfie tells a story. Noelle thinks there's something wrong with the old cell phone she and her friends found. The photographs keep turning out wrong, very wrong. Like the snapshot Noelle take, took of her father's new Equinox car. That shows it totaled. And then Noelle's father is in, in a nasty wreck, but Noelle's friends don't believe her. Christina even makes Noelle bring the cell phone to her sweet 16th birthday party and takes her and take her and her and Corbin's picture. Noelle accidentally takes a picture of Ryan and Alana's wedding during 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 the wedding ceremony. Takes a picture of Ryan and Alana during the wedding ceremony. Only Christina and Corbin not in the photograph when it's this Phillips. It's is Christina and Corbin about to be taken out of the picture permanently? Is Ryan Alana's wedding going to be wrecked? Who is going to take the next fall for the evil cell phone? Then up next after that, book number five, Curse of the Egyptian Mummy. And it has about me on it. And then I said, I'm not going to give that much away. Not going to give that much away. For all six of those books. Here is book number five that I published in February. Oh, and, and I published The Haunted Cell Phone in January. Here is book number five I published in February. And oh, listen! Something dead has been in, been here. Daniel and his parents are visiting Kalar, Kalahari, Egypt, to visit Uncle Elis and cousin Anna and Nick. And Nick, to check out the Great Pyramid of Egypt and the Mummy's tomb. Can their vacation go awesome and mummy less wrong? People are spreading rumors about it. Evil Egyptian mummy curse that Daniel keeps hearing about. Curses doesn't exist, right? Or are they? Then after book number five, there is number six, which is Let's Disappear. And again, it has about me. And the pages are 40-something pages. Like I end at 48, but it goes on since there is there are chilling previews in in the books on all six. And the last book I was able to order from Amazon, or my mom ordered for me, Let's Disappear. I'll listen to the back. Disappearing can be dangerous. Jonathan Iveson and his family moved into a new house in the same town in Atlanta, Michigan. 
and he and his friends discover an old mirror in the attic. They turned the mirror light on as the light got bright. They became invisible. They seemed to enjoy it, but things would go wrong, very wrong. Has their little game gone too far? And here is the what's up next. Night of the Evil Puppet is what I'm working on right now for all you fans out there. And sadly, it doesn't have a bit about me and my picture on this one somehow. But don't worry, inside it has about me in it. After the chilling preview. And then book number five has all my advertisements I've been trying to has all of the advertisements like this. Oh, and here's the all about the author biography on it. And then pretty soon I'm gonna write a book called Tales to Give You the Grim Chills, which will be coming soon. Ten times the stories, ten times the scares. Well I hope you enjoy this little chat. Now I will leave the description for all six of those books down in the description below. I highly recommend getting all those books so I can have great sales. And I hope you all have a fantastic day and have a scary have a scary day everyone. Since I'm not that scary or am I? So enjoy my books and I'll see you whenever I get done with number seven.